Hey guys, this is Echo Soundworks with another tutorial for ADSR and MassiveSynth.com. If you're not subscribed to the YouTube channel and you want to do that, you can at YouTube.com forward slash ADSR Toots. So that was a quick demo of the FX sound we'll be making today in Massive. And I'm going to try to make this one really short because this sounds really easy to make. I'm going to try to keep it under five minutes. So I was making uh, a demo for a sound set and I messed around with this sound and I was trying to figure out a way to not only transition from section to section, but I wanted to transition cross genre. So this first part of this this uh, demo is kind of like progressive house ish. <laughs> And that whistle synth that uh, that pitches downward is a great way to not only segue from sections, but it kind of makes the ear forget what it's hearing and where it's going. And so it goes from that progressive feel to that really, really trap feel. So I wanted to share that sound with you because it's really easy to make and massive, and it's I think it's a really helpful tool. So I'm going to mute that original one. I'm going to loop this, and I have a new sound pulled up in massive. So I do have some third-party uh, reverb sent on a bus. That's what you're here. That's why you're hearing reverb right now. First thing you're going to do in Oscillator 1 is take this Pulse Sol Sync Wave. It's going to be really high pitch sounding, like annoyingly so. And to kill some of that really, really high resonance, I'm going to turn on the Low Pass 4 filter, turn the cutoff up, and the resonance up. And if you mess with this cutoff knob, it'll actually change the pitch. So I'm also going to bring in some white noise right now. So this is the sound you should have. And you can apply the noise to taste. So now let's go to our envelope, which is what's going to affect the pitch and get that downwards motion. I'm going to turn the attack all the way up and turn the level all the way up. And now I'm going to modulate downwards on my cutoff until you see this little notch right there. I'm going to take this and I'm going to modulate the color of my noise. So what that's going to do is as the cutoff in this pitch starts to open up and go downwards via this envelope shape, it's going to turn the color of my white noise in the opposite direction, which will make it less bright, which is kind of helpful to the sound. So now we have... All right, and I'm going to add some reverb inside a massive, so I'm going to not apply a whole lot because I have some third party, but I'm going to turn the dry wet down and bump the size a little and I'm not going to touch the density or the color. And I'm also going to add some dimension expander. I'm going to turn the dry wet down just a little bit and turn the size down just so I'm adding some kind of three dimensional depth. And now I'm going to keep this, uh, I'm not going to touch it actually, I'm going to keep this vibrato how it, how it is in this macro active. I'm going to add about 20-25% vibrato to the sound. So it has a little bit more movement. And now I'm going to bring back in the music, and that is literally the sound. So it's a great sound to pair with like a drum roll or a drum fill or something, as you can hear in this demo. So if you guys have any questions or comments, let me know below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't checked out MassiveSynth.com, head on over there. Tons of great things Massive. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.